Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today um, I'm gonna just make a decently quick video I think, or I think it should be pretty quick. Um, I'm pretty much where I trained <clears throat> up until 276, my current level, um, after level 200 on my Adele. I know I didn't really go over that part. Um, so here I'm just gonna go through it really quick. Um, at level 200, uh, I went to Armas Hideout. And I pretty much stayed here all the way until level 210. Now, I don't think uh, Reverse City or Yum Yum Island was out when Adele was out, so I didn't really get the chance to train in those maps. Uh, so, as a result, I did Armas Hideout. Now, I like this map over uh, whatever you call it, uh, below the cave, as most people or a lot of people go to. Uh, just because I think there's more mobs here. Um, obviously, I can't tell that or say definitively that with Frenzy Totem there is. Um, <clears throat> but pretty much all I did was just jump back and forth. Uh, I'd place my soul down, and then that will take on like what a quarter of the map. My swords will take on another quarter-ish, and I just jump back and forth and let my swords pretty much do the thing. Ideally, uh, you would be on this platform. Uh, the one, the first one off of the bot, the lowest or second from the lowest, um, because you can cleave the mobs on the bottom, and then your swords will be able to hit the top. Um, and that's pretty much how I trained here all the way up until level 210. <clears throat> and now, once I hit 210, of course, did my prequests, and I went all the way to Slippy Forest Steps. Now, I think this was probably one of the most insane maps. I think I finished off here for the night. I think I got to like level 200 or two. I mean 220 or 225 on the first day, because um, it was honestly it was just so fast. Uh, but pretty much what I did here, um, I stood on this platform and I just hit back and forth. Um, of course, your swords will take care of the mobs up here. Um, <clears throat> like if I just were to stand here and wait for them to respawn you see my swords take care of them and pretty much i placed my soul up here and it'll hit these three platforms so it'll miss a little bit if the mobs spawn on the right here uh, for this soul but i figured that one of those couple mobs uh, is kind of insignificant and i could just clear them when i went to loot this platform <coughs> uh pretty much right away so yeah, I just pretty much just stood on this platform and hit back and forth. Again, I did this because my cleave can hit this bottom platform. So um, with my swords taking care of the platform above me, my soul taking care of these two uh, diagonal platforms that I'm mo circling with my mouse. <coughs> uh, that's pretty much how I did it. Uh, if you don't one shot, um, pretty much I just jumped back and forth. Either way, your swords is going to be able to hit the bottom. So yeah. Uh, that's pretty much what I did all the way up until level 220. And at that point is when I went to Latchlin. And of course went over to Revelation Place 3. Now this place is busted. When I say busted, I mean busted. So um, pretty much you can place your soul right here and it'll hit everything. Um, yeah, boom, it hits everything. And you just stand here and you literally just swing back and forth. Like, you cover up pretty much the whole map. Now, if your soul uh, doesn't one-shot, you can also place uh, your rain right here. So it'll stick right here. It'll kill the monsters down here and up here. Uh, if mobs want to spawn, so as you can see. Oh, I guess my soul killed it before. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it's pretty much just stood here. Wiped the whole map clean. If you have a vac pet, you barely have to move at all because you can loot pretty much everything just by jumping down and then jumping back up. Um, or if you can find a way to get your vac pet to uh, go on the bottom platform, let's see if I can do it. Dang it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much what I did. And you know, the EXP is actually insane because your mobbing is pretty much unrivaled. And pretty much whenever, no matter what map you're training on, I always tried to maintain at least uh, four swords. Obviously, if you can't, um, don't, uh, I mean, if you can't do it, that's obviously you can't, but, you know, do your best to try and maintain four. Optimally, you'd have six swords at all times. And your rotation pretty much is summon soul right here, or summon rain. Rain won't kill these top, this top platform here. 
Um, so you'd have to be careful. Um, but pretty much, yeah, you just did that and just stood still over here, back and forth mobbing. <clears throat> Once I hit level 225, I went to Arcana. Of course, everybody knows this map. Um, now this is pretty mostly speaking for um, GMS, non-reboot. Um, there's almost no way that I find a channel, but let's see, I'll s switch like two or three. Um, nope. I don't actually, I don't, I'm pretty sure there's no way I can find a channel. I should have thought about this <laughs> before I clicked record. I don't know why, but I just assumed that there would be a map. Um, I don't want to chaos somebody. Um, if anything, I can just explain what I did. Uh, pretty much, oh, I don't want to be in that map. <laughs> Not a friendly, um, okay. So pretty much all I did was stand right here and used cleave and attack to this side. The cleave will hit the mobs on the bottom and the mobs right here. Your swords will take care of the mobs on the top. And then I would summon my soul over here to take care of these mobs. And then that means I didn't have to stand in the middle and rotate back and forth. Um, <clears throat> again, the EXP is absolutely insane. I think I was averaging like 95 bill an hour. It's absurd. Um, but yeah, I pretty much trained at Arcana up until 240. Um, and at that point is when I went to Esfera and went to Mirror Touch C3. That, part, that dude's probably like, what is this guy doing in my map? <laughs> um, and this map, was it this map? Yeah, it was. Um, pretty much you just jump back and forth. So I had a clockwise rotation. It doesn't really matter. Um, so what I did was... Um, summon my rain here because if I summoned it here it wouldn't touch the pl platform on the top and summoned my lucid here my lucid will one shot pretty much everything on this side and then uh, I just jumped back and forth right here in the middle <coughs> again the pick it's a lot easier to see when you have frenzy on um, but yeah um, when they're down so when you have rain down is when I pretty much just jumped like this and just went around the circle. <clears throat> um, I think here I got, I want to say I pushed 100 bill an hour or something close like that. It was definitely better than CLP. And I pretty much stayed here up until 250 um, and pretty much avoided Void Current 3. Now, one of the maps that a lot of people chose to go to when they hit 245 was, where is it, right here? Right here. Um, this map, it's pretty big um, and pretty much the same idea as um, uh, MTS3. Uh, you just jump back and forth attacking. I personally didn't train in this map, but I could probably see... Okay, so I'm placing the swords right here. Maybe the will skill by jumping down one platform and popping it here. And then, of course, your soul is going to be up here because there's mobs up there that you can't reach. And then that way you can just stay on the bottom, uh, bottom-ish platform. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, that'll be your training in this map. Here, let me finish up. And uh, I heard of some people staying here until 255. Now that's obviously optional. Uh, the map layout's honestly pretty decent. Um... Especially, you know, if you have a Kana Mule or if you have Wild Totem or Frenzy Totem, it's pretty good. Um, but the map that I went into for level 250 to 255 was at Labyrinth of Suffering, Deep Core 1. Let me just load in. So basically, um, this map is very uncontested. Very few people actually train here. Um, and basically what I did was... Um, let me see if my cooldown's up. Okay, I'll just give it a second. But, um, yeah, pretty much the same idea as the MTS. So what I would do is place my rain down there, jump and attack as I'm on here, summon my soul on the corner. Um, and then I would like, ideally you'd be on this middle platform so you can jump and attack, flash jump and attack. And then you can jump up here, place your soul, and then continue walking. You could place your will skill right here and it'll hit this top platform. Um, and then yeah, pretty much the same thing, you just go back and forth hitting.
Um, if you ever make it to the bottom and you don't want to jump up to the middle, uh, I up jumped and then you use your back step and then you can use that transition, that back step into placing rain right here and then you can move on. Uh, in this map it's really critical that you maintain your sword summon so you always want to have at least four or six swords uh, flying around at all time. You can see, oh, back step onto it. <coughs> And then boom, and that's pretty much it. That's the, like the name of the game. You just go back and forth in a counterclockwise thing. And then um, when I got lazy, I would summon Infinity Blade um, and literally just sit right here, and it would clear everything. Jump up, jump back down, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I guess I didn't mention it, but I pretty much just pop Infinity Blade every time it's up. Um, I almost it's literally the most insane skill ever. You can literally do so much bossing and mobbing wise with it um yeah i think it's honestly going to be one of the best skills even though it's getting nerfed oh, it doesn't really matter but yeah and then everyone knows this but once you hit 255 uh, you go to limina and end of the world 1-5 is going to be the map uh, that you train at for your last 20 levels and when i say last 20 levels i really mean last 20 levels what you're going to do is pretty much the same story as most maps. You're going to summon your soul right here. You really want the soul to be two-shotting. Um, as you can see right here, I think I two-shot. Yeah, I don't have the right links on right now. But pretty much you summon that there. You'll stand right about here. Just attack. Your swords will clear these mobs on the top along with your um, ethereal arm. And then every 30 seconds you hop down. Place rain right there. Uh, and you just get back to it. And then... <clears throat> Once, um, I'll stay here for a minute to show what to do when your soul uh, finishes. So I stay here and attack. Oh man, it's so different without Frenzy. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm just standing here attacking. And the one thing to be cautious is this map will do a full map attack every like I want a couple every few minutes, and it'll do a percentage of your HP. So make sure you have potions. <clears throat> so now. What I'll do is I'll summon this right here, hop over here, and then drop my ruin, and then flash jump over here uh, to place my soul back and will skill if I have it, and then jump back. Uh, I pretty much use ruin because I need that time to loot on this bottom platform right here. I need to loot this bottom platform, so by placing ruin I can still clear mobs, and it is just fast enough uh, to keep to use that and hop over to summon soul and then jump back and I'll miss you know maybe one or two clears worth of summit mobs and then you sit here all the way until you're level 275 and that's currently what I'm doing so uh, yeah I hope this was somewhat insightful uh, I can't believe I didn't mention this in the vid earlier in the video to use infinity blade but I think most of you guys got the gist um, yeah this class is busted <laughs> Uh, but I hope you guys have been enjoying Maple Story. I know classes are starting up or started up, um, uh, and I'm going to be one of those students in what T minus 14 days from the day I'm recording this video. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give a thumbs up if you learned something. Uh, if you guys like Adele, just honestly, just thumbs up the video or thumbs down. Really up to you. I'll leave a comment if you guys have any further questions about Adele. Uh, I'm getting to know this class more and more as I play it, um, and hopefully once I stop only pressing three buttons on it, <laughs> I'll be able to be more helpful to people who have questions about like bossing and whatnot, because honestly, I'm still learning too. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, as always, happy mapling, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace!